All right, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I just had a bunch of technical difficulties, which screwed me over because I lost about 15, 20 minutes of streaming time. Nothing I could really do about it. So, after doing that uh, Bring Down the Sky DLC, which gave me a gold trophy, I didn't expect to get a gold trophy for doing it, I want to continue on with the actual main story of the game now. And there's only two options. However, if I do Vermeer this early, I may screw myself over because you need to have either Max Paragon or Max Renegade to do a critical decision during that plotline. So I think that I what I need to do is do Novaria first and get lots of levels while we're doing Novaria so that maybe I can max out one of my things by the time we get to Verma. Okay. Oh, that's loud. Oh my god, that's loud. Orange Cat says... How do I like the recharging ammo in Mass Effect 1, or do I prefer the uh, ammo that you have to gather, like standard ammo in Mass Effect 2? I think that in Mass Effect 1, it's a more unique system. The whole cooldown system and everything is nice, and I feel that in Mass Effect 2, they kind of just went more to the more generic route, like Gears of War or something like that, because it really does feel the further in you play into the, uh, into the series of Mass Effect, the gunplay gets more casualized and more like a standard cover-based third-person shooter rather than something unique. In this game, it was more unique, but it was clunky, you see? Um, so personally, I think the whole recharge is better. I don't like the whole grab our ammo off the ground kind of shit, okay? That's my take on it, though. Um, Tonin is asking me, do I know what I want to do on Vermeer yet? Actually, I don't know what I want to do on Vermeer yet. I haven't decided. I'm going to think about it. I actually don't even remember, because remember I played this game twice for YouTube already. I don't even remember what I did in my first two runs. I have no recollection. Shout out to Mando, who did a super chat. Says, a name a band from the 70s or 80s Approach that's super control. popular, but it's overrated. Requesting a vector into birth. Normandy, arrival was not scheduled. Think about Our that. is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted. Yeah. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Nah. <laughs> They're very serious here. Um, a band from the 70s or 80s that's overrated, or I feel is overrated. Man. Oh, shit. Well, actually, I don't know. Eh, I don't know. It's hard because like some some bands, I don't. I'm not necessarily giant fans of the band, but that doesn't mean that they're not a good band. Like for example, the Rolling Stones. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not a huge fan of the Rolling Stones. I probably know a bunch of their songs, but I don't think I've ever just sat down and said I want to hear a song from the Rolling Stones. I don't think I not once have I done that. Um, that doesn't mean they're not a good band. It just means that I really don't care that much about them, you know? So, by the way, I think... I'm trying to remember here. I'm did I do... Did I get the mission complete five missions with the soldier class? I don't think I did, did I? Because I was thinking take Ashley and Liara, because I want I want freaking Singularity again. That shit is so good. And I think I am only basically taking her to get the soldier class uh, trophy. Then I'll have gotten all the trophies, because I'm pretty sure I got the Asari, Krogan... Turian, Quarian, and Sentinel. Like, I got all those, I think. But I don't think that I got the Soldier class yet. So I guess we'll go with this squad for now. I usually kill Caden because he sucks. See, personally, I don't think he sucks, but... Equalizing interior pressure he's basically inferior to atmosphere. other characters. Like, he's a, he's a tech... Logged. And biotic combo, is ashore. but Exo Presley has the deck. Liara's better for biotics, and Tali's better for tech. So it's kind of like you don't need them. You know what I mean? Like if you're going to go in specialist classes, you can already have better classes with other characters. So Caden kind of like doesn't really fit a role. Like Ashley kind of does because she's a soldier, pure combat, but he really doesn't. All right, let's take a look here. We probably want to give all new equipment. Let's see here. Whoa. That's the Savant tool. Look how good it is. Wow. Level 8 Savant tool. That's crazy good. I don't think I have any armor for her. No, I don't. Right, we're just going to probably upgrade everything. Here, give her the Avenger 5. 
Give her the Firestorm sh uh, shotgun. She doesn't use a shotgun, though, right? I don't think so. Uh, the pi She does use a pistol. And the Raikou 6 is... Oh, shit. The stiletto is the amazing. The stiletto pistol is too good. Because she's primarily going to use pistols, I think, right? And she's going to use the assault rifle. So I'll give her the Avenger 5, and then we'll give her... Let's see here. Extra weapon stability. Okay. Uh, see, I don't think I'm ever going to have her use a shotgun. I'll give it to her anyway, but I don't think I'm ever going to have her use it. Level 5 detection. There we go. <laughs> no one takes Shepard armor seriously in the pink armor. I know, I need better armor for him. Right now, I got crappy armor on Shepard. Yeah, she uses the assault rifle. He's using a handgun, but can also go sniper. And then she's using the handgun. Okay. <clears throat> I got points to put into everybody. And he'll just go right to uh, assault training. He says, I'm going Paragon. Might as well not put it into the Renegade. Max Adrenaline Burst. Cool. And then Barrier. Okay. 43 points. I never leveled her up at all. <laughs> Oops. So let's go ahead and do the uh, pistol assault rifles. That's what I want. Yeah. Combat armor. Soldier. Assault training. Fitness. First aid. There you go. And then eight points for Liara. Yeah, she's all biotics, so let's go with, uh, let's go with Barrier, and then War. Have her, all her biotics max out. There we go. Okay. All right, I guess, I think we're good now. Let's save up. So we got a biotics expert. We got a, a military combat expert. There's a drone. Look at that. Scanning us. Yeah, Novaria is really, really long, if I remember correctly, right? I think Novaria is like, in, like you got this first segment with the with the settlement, then you've got to go to a, a a base, and you've got to hack an AI, fighting the Rachni on this planet. Like, there's a lot going on on this planet. It's a pretty long story. That's far enough. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, man. <laughs> what? We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Too bad. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Absolutely not. <laughs> Back away, nice and slow. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. Nah. One, two, three. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirm their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. <laughs> Behave yourself. So I got Paragon and Renegade boosts there. Okay. Now this should be interesting to see how this looks in this Legendary Edition. Look at that. That's totally new. A water feature. <laughs> Tonin says, I didn't like an ME3 when you finally meet the Leviathans. It's a DLC. I thought that should have been part of the main game. Hope you play ME3 soon. That'll be interesting. I've only played ME3 once ever. And... The DLCs I remember going back and doing, but you're right, they were disjointed because you played them after the fact, so it'll be interesting to play them along with the main game. Well, Don't mind the uh. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? How's the haptic feedback? I haven't really noticed that much haptic feedback. I don't think there is any, because this is a PS4 game. 
So I don't think that they really had to do any haptic feedback at all. Yeah. Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I'm not here to dig out any corporate secrets. That's gratifying to hear. Nah. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Benezia. Aha! She is here. Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. That's where I need to be then. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Yeah. Can we go in now? <laughs> of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of side quests here because it's, it's another town, I you can't know? Leave it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, I don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. I can't trust you. <laughs> Tonin says, uh, the one thing that's janky about the game is the Mako. I mean, the, the Mako was always janky. That's why they completely removed it from future installments. People who thought it was very annoying. To have to do uh, Mako segments. <clears throat> Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected Port site Han for Shan. independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy Whee! of others, you Spin. are required to obey Spin any to directions win. given by our security personnel. <laughs> if you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you. And enjoy your stay. Shout out to Mando who tipped me five dollars and is asking me what would I prefer for Fallout? Would it be Fallout Three, New Vegas, or Four? I like them all. First of all, I should say that up front. I do like them all. I feel the story of Three with some of the cool side missions is really unique and interesting. Um, and the DLCs as well of Three are pretty good. The story of Four in general is also quite good. The thing I like, excuse me, not for, uh, New Vegas, the thing I like about New Vegas is they made more gameplay models viable. Like, in Fallout 3, there's a lot of shortcomings in the combat, and, like, doing melee build is almost impossible. Like, you, there's almost no way you could ever do a melee build at all in Fallout uh, 3. New Vegas, they actually made it viable. So, I liked that about New Vegas, you could play it in more ways. Um... Fallout 4 I really like too, but I feel that it kind of underperformed. Remember, I played Fallout 4 on Xbox One, and I really feel like it didn't really perform at like a current gen game at the time. It kind of it felt like slightly improved graphics on an older model formula. And of course, Fallout 4 had a lot of stupid issues with the stupid settlements and stuff that held it back, I feel. I still like Fallout 4 too. I don't know, that's a tough question. Probably I would go with Fallout New Vegas. How about that? How about that? Okay. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Huh, you already know. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. <laughs> this one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. Okay. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. Smuggling. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. Okay. I have no problem with that. <laughs> this one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy fees. Is there anything funny. else this one might help you with? Smuggling. Cut. So yeah, what do they Could sell? I buy something now? Is there anything in particular the Spectre is looking for? Oh man, I guess we look at everything. Standard items. So first of all. Does it have any... Yes, I was going to say, does it have any licenses? Buy the license, it'll, it'll... I'll be able to buy that from my ship. There's a unique grenade upgrade. Carry an extra grenade. I'll definitely buy that. Um, yeah, look at this. 
The armor it sells is far superior to what I have. So I'm absolutely going to buy this. I can't wear the medium armor, right? I think I can only wear light armor. Actually, I don't know. So you know what? I'll buy one light and one medium. I know I can't use heavy. Everything else I can't afford. So there you go. Now let's take a look. <clears throat> I can wear the medium armor. Sweet. All right. Well, the medium armor is significantly better than what I'm wearing. So I'll put that on. And then that means also for her, yeah, she could also wear this Titan armor. Or the Phoenix, but the Titan looks better. The Titan is better. And then let's go ahead and... Mobile accuracy and cooldown reductions. Ooh. That's good. And then what I should do... What does he have on? A blade of coating is 12% damage protection. Right, I'll keep that. All right, we look different now, which is good. Stop being bright pink. <laughs> yeah, see? So, uh, someone just said Ma Mass Effect 1 is best because you've got the, the more futuristic weapons that recharge over time. Every other game after that had the stupid ammo system that's like standard guns from every other game ever. And it's boring. And I have to agree with that. I have to absolutely agree with that. Why on earth they went to a standard ammo system, I don't know. It just made it feel more generic like every other game. So... Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you on that one. The recharging guns is better. Yeah, we look way better now, and this armor looks better than the other Phoenix armor or whatever it was. I think this is where we need to go for the mission. I'm just curious if there's anyone down here to talk to or do any any uh, conversations with. There's a generic guard. I don't care about that. Oh, yeah, isn't this... Oh, wow, if I remember correctly. This is where you can infinitely glitch the game and max both Renegon... Renegon. Wow, I'm stupid. Both Paragon and Renegade. There's a conversation you can glitch out. Liquor level of backs. Spectre, right? Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my Eco's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. <laughs> what can I do for you today? Okay. How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas for the managers. If you can polish enough gizzard. Maybe you could let me borrow yours? Nah. Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm, security tracks card use. What do you do here? I'm the chief mechanic for Hanshan. Just call me Lee. Humans have a problem saying my full name. Yeah, a little, little, little hurry, X. Keeping the shuttles coming and going. Okay. I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. So I can't get in here without a key card. Access to the garage is restricted. I'm on Citadel business. I need <laughs> to leave the station. If you want to enter the garage, you need authorization for Mr. Analeas. No exceptions. I'm sorry. Shooter. Right in the face. No? Darn. Alright. <laughs> Happy World Turtle Day to you, Turtle Dude. <clears throat> I don't think we can do this yet. I think this is for... Yeah. Synthetic Insights is temporarily closed. This is a side mission for another, uh, for another time. Or I think you could do it if you find the right person and talk to them. They give you the access to that. See if we can walk around and find anyone to talk to. <clears throat> or it might be you have to do that first before you can leave. Actually, I think that's what it is. I think you have to do that mission first before you can leave. Yeah, so you got this to, this stuff to do here. Then we're going to go to an, uh, uh, a lot of combat and another whole base. There's also lots of stuff to do here. What's in here? I forget. Oh, it's her again. How can I help you? There's stuff back there. It's the office. Look. There's a solarian back there. How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas, 
Oh, yes, that's him what, back what? there. Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Analeas, Analeas. <laughs> okay. Analeas, 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 Analeas. Attack his wall now. His wall unit there. No, we're gonna talk to him. Analeas, Analeas. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain colonial rubes. Wow. What an ass. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. It's all about corporate stuff here. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. <clears throat> Why is Synthetic Insights closed? I have placed Laura Keen, the manager of the Hanshan office, under internal review. I cannot comment further at this time. Hmm. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. Okay. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? And you didn't think that was weird? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. Hmm. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. Hmm. So we don't know what she's doing here at all. Oh, well, let's see. I need to see her. Why is she here? What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There mm. were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Okay. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads <laughs> are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't play ball, I'm sure someone else here will. Huh. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. I'm not going to tell him about Opal. Well, the thing is, I think... I think there's different ways to do this. I think there's a whole... The synthetics plotline is the way one way to do it. I think if you tell him about Opal smuggling, you gain his favor. And if you do enough things, then he he's friendly to you and he lets you do what you need to do. Opold wants me to smuggle a package through security. I need more than your word to act on that. Bring me whatever he's smuggling, and I'll act accordingly. Okay. So you'll arrest him? No one here is fond of trials. They make shareholders nervous. More likely, we would simply let him go. Of course, he would be blacklisted by the companies here. Damn. Not so fast. In exchange, I want garage access. You are shrewd to use this as leverage. If it is a serious infraction, I will give you a pass. Okay. So there you go. If I give him the opal package, he gives me the pass, and that's the one way to do it. I'll look into it and get back to you. Yeah. I appreciate your report. I'm leaving. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. <laughs> so we can either do that, we can go to the Normandy, get opal's package, give You've it to him, and then we get the pass. You've never worked in the world, have you, Commander? You can't uh -huh. bludgeon through bureaucracy. All right. What would you do? Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. All right. Talk to you later. Very well. So this is the other way to do the mission. That's also what I like about Mass Effect 1 is that there's definitely leeway with how you complete certain objectives. So if you just want to be a dick, turn an opal. Get the key, key card. You're done. Or do it a different way. And the other way is more exciting anyway. So I think we're going to do it the other way. Would I eat Hanar sushi? I would never eat a Hanar. That's fucked up. Why would you say that? This one is very insulted that you would even suggest such a thing. 
So how do you get to the hotel? I forget. This isn't it. This is get you to the, the lifts, I think. Yeah, that's not it. It must be the other one of the other elevators probably works now. The elevator over here I didn't use. I think that goes to the hotel area. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one here. Zylvania, I would assume so. It's more for you guys to say. She it says, uh, they said, are, is the 60 frames pretty, pretty consistent? In this game, yes. The only time it really dips is during combat, I would uh, argue. As for my streaming setup, you're literally seeing what I'm seeing. Like, this new setup that I'm doing with YouTube, I'm broadcasting at such a high bitrate that you're actually seeing exactly what I see on my TV, so there's no difference. So if you see the frame rate dip, that's because it's actually dipping in the game. <clears throat> okay, hold on. We're going to save. This Lord King conversation is the one you can glitch out, and you can get maximum Renegade and maximum Paragon just by talking to this guy, which is really silly. But anyway. <clears throat> the male human at the hotel bar... He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. Dullstone? That makes ideal for my job. You are a known quantity. Or so Vargas will think. Dullstone. You, you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... My real intentions. Uh, Alberto Ponte, tonight's late stream is the continuation of Danganronpa V3. It looks like we'll be finishing the third class trial tonight, hopefully. So, good stuff. <clears throat> He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. Alright. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. <coughs> you will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. Pretty complicated. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. 500 credits is nothing! Interesting plan. I'm in. <laughs> Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. I love it. For only 500 credits after all that, right? Mando says if I get to choose, would I rather a mainstream Mass Effect game or Left 4 Dead? Honestly, I want a good Left 4 Dead game to come back. And I feel like, I don't know if it ever will. Like, they're making that new one, what's it called? Uh, back for Blood or whatever. And people are saying the beta was absolutely terrible. Which sucks. I would like to have Left 4 Dead back as a franchise. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. Ah. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. So, if he rubs the back of his neck, keep pressing on that subject, it'll kill more time. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. So there's Lord Quinn, that's a mission. And there's the guy over there, that's the other mission. What else is in here? What sort of Good. Nothing, looks empty. <laughs> empty area. up here the doorman I'm sorry the hotel is off limits to those without a corporate account so I can't go in the hotel right now don't hang up 
Elder brother? It's me. I'm on the Varia now. Oh, here's a conversation. Random one. Talk wrong. This call is costing 10 credits a minute. It's real time from the troopers. Do you think it would be cheap? I need some information. There's an issue here with synthetic insects. The manager, Laura Keane. He got caught with his toes wet. Ah! Oh. This is closed by Hanson's administrator. I, I need you to see what you can find out about. Him. Are you ready for his name? Ronatril, Gon, Swab, Bolsum, Carrot, Nar, Kiyad, Bella, and Elias. What a name! No, that's the administrator. The Hanson administrator. Well, the thing okay. is, a Turian wouldn't risk getting his arms They don't compromise their team. That's drilled into them. I think the administrator is using this key fella to draw flies from his own clutch. Of course I could look it up myself. But do you think I'm likely to get any unfiltered data through Moveria's own network? That, and it would take forever for an email system search results to be about you. Thank you, Elder Brother. I have to go. Yes. I'll speak to you soon. So that's interesting. You just learned a lot about what's going on. You know Morda? Read it. I think you have to fight him later, if I remember correctly. My decryption skill is too low because, sadly, I don't have Tali with me. Tali's the one who has the high decryption, so I can't get anything here. If I come back with Tali, I think one of those might actually give a side mission, and then the other one just gives like a reward, I think. Tonin, no, after I, after I finish up with Mass Effect, I'm not gonna be focusing on Mass Effect 3 right away. He says, are you gonna focus on this or Biomutant? Biomutant's a new release. I'll be playing Biomutant way more. This is gonna become night streams after today. Where I'm gonna do it in like two hour installments a couple times a week. So, so I'm curious if they fixed the glitch with Laura Quinn. Or Keen. Yeah. This is a glitch. They used to have a conversation with this guy. You could loop it back and forth Paragon Renegade. And keep leveling up your Paragon Renegade till it maxed. So I'm curious if it's fixed or not. Afternoon. <laughs> Sit down. Have a drink. What can I do for you? I need to get up to peak 15. Indeed. That might be difficult. A terrible storm has been unleashed up there. The administrator won't give us garage access. Not surprising. Of course, all the managers have access as well. I do, for that matter. Ah. Did you see an Asari matriarch recently? Yes. She caused quite a stir. It's not every day a matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. Is it so unusual to see a matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see such an esteemed figure is surprising. Lady Benezia was also dressed for her role. An Asari in a pinstriped suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees, so to speak. Young males have an unhealthy obsession with my species. <laughs> uh. You know why Benezia is here? She claimed to be Saren's assistant, here to get a certain project back on track. I suspect she meant Peak 15. Okay. Armed commandos were allowed on Novaria? I don't know if they were disarmed. Of course, one can't confiscate biotic powers. Saren, and by extension, Benezia, is an important person. By that, I mean an investor who might sell stock, if denied. Hmm. See that? Okay. I have a different question. Humans are full of questions. I should write a book about it while I have the time to spare. So now let's talk about him. Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? What makes you think I'm a Spectre? Your picture has been sent to every employee. They've been warned that speaking to you is grounds for termination. Oh, wow. Lorik Keen. For the moment, I am the manager of the Synthetic Insights office. Having some trouble with your office? Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. Uh, -uh. you mean kickbacks? By rents, you mean bribes for Analeas. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. 
If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, uh -huh. as well as a sum of credits. Why didn't Analeas cancel your pass clearance? Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nafak. Hmm. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. Okay. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? What? Violence against Mr. Analeas' thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. They're crooked. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? Haha. <laughs> so I don't think... Oh, shit. That is not what I wanted to do. I don't think you could do the conversation yet. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I need to get up to peek there. Indeed. That might be administered. Not surprising. Yeah, I can't do it I should yet. let you go. Let I think go. it's afterward. I think after we do this mission, conversation that's when you get the conversation loop. I think. Explain why I'm so pretty sure. Alright, so anyway, we gotta go to his offices now. So he gave me the key card to get into the synthetics place. We have to go back there and go in and fight a bunch of dudes. And that'll allow me to complete that mission. And I go back and do the side mission later. With this Vargas guy or whatever the hell his name was. <clears throat> All right. Very cool. Get this uh, going. We've got ten minutes left, so we'll probably have a, a, enough time to kill them all. <laughs> That's probably about it. Kill all the assholes. Where was the synthetic uh, place that I needed a key card for? Through here? Yes, it was through here. Okay. I have to fight all the guys in here now. Actually, I think there's a speech challenge here, too. If I remember correctly. Here, let me see. Oh, you can't save. Never mind. Freeze! Hanshan security. This office is sealed. <clears throat> What'll you do if I don't? You're the Spectre, right? Laura Keene is under investigation. Here we go. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keene. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Uh, so you bypass an initial wave, you still have to fight others. Yeah. Forget where you need to go. Oh, some upgrade kits. It's worth it to check out all these rooms. Do, 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 do. Okay. <clears throat> ah! Decryption too low. I should have taken Tali on this one. I forgot. They need all decryption for this shit. Damn it. Well, that sucks. That sucks. I managed to miss like four shots in a row. That was impressively bad, actually. Haha. 
Yeah, look. Door control. Decryption too low. Fuck. There's items in there. Can't do it. I suck. Same thing, secure wall safe. Oh well, I guess I'm not getting any of these items. Nah. Alright, we got the evidence. That's what we need. There are actually way less enemies than I remember. Maybe it's because I talked down the first group. Probably. I remember there being way more guys to shoot. Like this. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. You have me at a disadvantage, miss. Oh, now you're gonna show some respect? <laughs> I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? What a load of crap. You're here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. I didn't want to fight them, they fired first. Well, I don't need a gun to rip you to pieces. Ah, singularity. And that's the end of that. Completely destroyed by singularity. <laughs> wow. There's two more down here. Oh, trying to snipe me, huh? Owned. That was pretty funny. Oh, I'm gonna. I don't need a gun. I'm gonna take you out. And immediately, Singularity just fucks their shit up. They can't do anything. <laughs> okay. I remember it was always like that too. Like those fights are so like short-lived and silly. They act like it's going to be some big thing. He's like slaughtering these people who are talking big. All right. We got... Oh. Uh-oh. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? Oh. Uh, of course not. Why would I? <laughs> Don't play me, Shepard. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Ah. Everyone here is doing this corporate espionage shit behind each other's back. Everyone's playing a different angle. <laughs> Everyone was out looking out for themselves. Okay. D. Cook, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Excuse me. This is the conclusion of the stream, though. Next time around, we'll continue on with the Novaria plotline. See if I can unlock the, the, the dialogue loop. Again, I don't know if they fixed it or not. If they This is a Legendary Edition. You would think they would have patched it. So you can't just cheat to max your Paragon and Renegade. But maybe they didn't. Maybe they screwed it up and now you can, you can still do it. <clears throat> so, she's over there. Now there's like a million things to do here. Yeah. Alright, let's save up. And next time around, we'll continue from here. Um, I remember there's a lot more to do on this planet. We have to finish up this plot line, be able to leave. Then there's combat outside. Then we go to another facility where you got to do a lot of mystery research and stuff. Then you, you end up fighting some cool stuff coming up. There's that rogue AI you need to hack and stuff. Yeah, I remember. There's probably like another three, four hours left on Novaria, I think. So, all right. So that was a good session. I actually really enjoyed the Bring Down the Sky stuff because I had forgotten all about that DLC. And uh, it was fun to do it again, being part of this Legendary Edition. And... We made some good progress on Novaria. Thank you to everyone who chilled and supported the stream. Until next time, FYI, this playthrough will now become a night stream. So you're going to see it on late night streams probably around twice a week moving forward. So I hope you can join me for some late streams coming up. In fact, there's one I think coming up, I want to say, like Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not sure. I think it's Wednesday. So, all right. Very good. Thank you very much, guys.